All right, so I want to mount a GoPro to my helmet, and I was looking at different options for mounts and everything, side mounts, chin mounts, and I found this co company called Chin Mounts, and they make these little pieces of plastic uh, adapters that mount to the front of your helmet or where your chin mount would be, and they are contoured to your specific helmet. If you go on their website, Chin Mounts, I specifically have the Harley Davidson, the HD H31. Just select that and they have a chin mount that is contoured to your specific helmet. So, and it just mounts to your chin mount using this 3M adhesive that's on there. And then you use um, GoPro's attachment to mount your GoPro. Chin mount does have several different options for the GoPro to mount to the chin mount. Super easy to install. Basically, you just have to peel off the tape. You definitely want to test fit it to where it's supposed to go. I have a modular helmet because I wear glasses. Putting your glasses on in a full face helmet kind of sucks. So having a modular helmet is definitely easier to uh, put over you if you wear glasses. So it's going to mount here to the front and then there's a tab for that modular one. I just want to make sure it clears and it will so and then you also want to make sure that the adhesive is going to not have any gaps where it mounts to your helmet so just go ahead and test fit it look around make sure that there's no gaps if there is you're just going to take a dryer and make sure you get those gaps filled with the dryer it'll kind of heat up that adhesive and kind of fill in those areas so what they recommend doing is once you peel off the adhesive is to get it kind of warmed up with a hair dryer. You don't want to get it too hot, but just hot enough to where it's going to activate that adhesive a little better than just sticking it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off this adhesive and take the hair dryer and get it heated up just a little bit. And they also give you this alcohol prep area. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that area down before I apply the adhesive. So just wherever that adhesive is going to touch, go ahead and wipe it with that alcohol wipe. I'm gonna finish heating this guy up. All right, now I'm gonna take the chin mount and try to install it in one try. So I had it pre-set where I wanted it. So I'm gonna stick this on there. And it says to hold it with pressure for about 60 to 30 seconds. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, and if you notice any gaps in between the 3M adhesive and your helmet, it says to just go ahead and hit that with a hair dryer and get it warmed up a little bit until those gaps close. And I didn't have any issues with that. Looking it over, it looks like it pretty much got all those gaps. So the cool thing about this is it does clear the vent right there and it does clear that tab for the modular helmet that I have. So it sits perfectly right in between there be able to mount the GoPro with this. So they do say to let this cure up to a minimum of 24 hours before mounting your camera to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cure for about that amount of time and we'll come back and get it mounted and see what it looks like. All right, so I actually let it sit for about 48 hours just to make sure it was cured. Plus the weather kept me from riding. So uh, been sitting for 48 hours and seems to be on there pretty solid. So this is what the chin mount looks like. And honestly, if you look at it really close, it's just a 3D printed plastic mount, but seems to do the job with that adhesive. And it does come with this tether. If you want to put it on there, you mount it to the side of your helmet, kind of attach it to your GoPro just in case it were to fall off. But judging by how that feels, I don't think that's going to be an issue. So I have my GoPro and I have the attachment um, set up. Chin Mounts has this minimalistic uh, mount here, and then it comes with a secondary mount. That way the camera clears because the back of the media mod that I'm gonna use was kind of hitting that so it wasn't angling up far enough. But with this setup right here, it's gonna be just fine. I'm gonna take my media mod just so I can run my microphone with a 3.5 millimeter jack. Unfortunately, to run one of those, you do need the media mod. Um, so I went ahead and purchased one. So I'm just gonna put it in here like this. Make sure it slides into that USB port, get it closed, and then we're gonna take the mount, pull in the tabs, have a mount in there, and it'll click in place. And that seems pretty solid. So I'm gonna unscrew this, 
and then take these GoPro mounts out. Right. And I'll put the screw in here. That's what the GoPro camera looks like with the media mod mounted to the chin mount. So it looks pretty cool. And that way you get a better first person view than having it off to the side. Those look okay, but I tend the first person view with it directly in front like that on the motor vlogs that I watch. So I do have a lavalier mic that I'm going to use for the microphone as I don't think this built-in mic is gonna capture my voice enough. Plus, once you get up to higher speeds, it's gonna uh, really catch that wind noise. So on the back of the media mod, there is a door or flap back here where the TRS um, insert is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that guy in. And then since this is a modular helmet and when I put it on, I lift it up, I do have to leave, leave enough cord to where that's going to clear. And then the rest of it, I just took out this cheek pad and tucked all the cord back there. And then I have the lavalier mic, if you can see this here, right here to where it's gonna mount uh, next to my mouth inside the helmet. I do have two windscreens on here. I have that normal small little black one that you, it comes with plus this larger um, pop filter on their windscreen to help reduce that wind noise that's coming through this helmet. So just have everything tucked, all the wires tucked behind padding here. There's tabs where you can undo it just like that. And you'll see I have all that mess of wire tucked back in there and then just put those tabs back down. And that's pretty much it. I think what I'm gonna have to do is there's a clip that once I find the perfect placements of, for the sound for the mic, I'm gonna clip this on the side or somehow get it, maybe get some gaff tape and actually put that on there a little bit better and then kind of find a way to situate this core here. Um, that way it's not kind of hanging too loose when I'm riding. But I do have to have that little bit of the extra to have the modular part open. So get that figured out, maybe get some gaff tape or something to hold that wire on. But this is the Moto Vlog setup with the Harley Davidson's helmet and the chin mount uh, mount. So looks pretty cool. So I did go ahead and actually tested this out um, earlier today because the weather is supposed to drop pretty cold here. So I wanted to get it tested. So I'm working on editing that video. Unfortunately, my battery died, but uh, I'm gonna have to restart it this weekend when it gets a little warmer, but yeah. So pretty cool setup. Definitely recommend the media mod if you wanna run a microphone with that 3.5 millimeter jack and everything like that. So this is my setup. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and check out these other videos here on the Harley Iron 883.